Awful. Awful fan of her. Out there. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing? Welcome back to more of The Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us. I've, I try not to make an Among Us reference every single time I say the name of the game. It's terrible that Among Us has done that to me, but yeah. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Pretty bad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we're on episode 4. So, last time, big spoilies. We've got some big uh, spoilies coming up. Um, but last time, we we were under the suspicion that Ichabod Crane might have been the person that had been do doing some of the moiders. Uh, by the end of that episode, we were led to believe that that might not be the case, but he was just a bit of a creep. Um, and then... You know what? I'll let the recap do the do the telling. But there's a there's going to be a recap anyway before we start the next episode. Um, but yeah, we might as well we'll start with that. Start with that as a baseline. But yeah, but this game's really good though. Like even just going back to it, the story still really hits. I feel like they've actually made a lot of really complicated characters for what it is. Um. And yeah, I'm just, I'm intrigued to see what happens, like, because for the life of me, I cannot fucking remember a thing <laughs> about, I remember the first episode very well, because when I went to record it, I ended up having to play it twice back then, so I remember the first episode relatively well. Um, but everything after that, it does become a bit of a haze. Okay, alright, we're getting into it. Episode 4. So, Big B's getting pissed with the... I was to say the Blue Magician, what's he called? Um... Um... Bluebeard. Uh... He's not a Final Fantasy character. Um... Yeah. Basically some shit went down with Ichabod last time. You'll have to wait and see in the recap. Oh, and we met Bloody Mary. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, I, I finally see you for who you are. Beast tell thought it was cheating. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Say that, okay. Relationship we have with you guys, really. I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Interesting, okay. So yeah, Crane changed hands, then now with Bloody Mary. And we're trying not to die again. <laughs> the ongoing saga. Jess, hello. I hope you're okay. See you around. Oh. Hollow <clears throat> point bullets. That was Bloody Mary. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, yeah, the bone. Uh. This way, old boy. 
I figured yep. it'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. What... <clears throat> what happened to me? There was... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Ugh. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh god, okay. I, I, I don't remember this clearly. I blocked this out from trauma. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to do a mini game. Yeah, <laughs> I censored it. It felt like a telltale mini game. I have to do it again. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. Ugh. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me. Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, all right. we'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my <laughs> optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Jesus. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Yeah, he's a workaholic. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. <laughs> They've got some history, clearly. Colin. Immediately starts drinking, that sound. So. That's healthy. How do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So. Not well, then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or... Died, I guess. Died. It... Um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. Aww. I've never seen you like that. 
And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Not really. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the <laughs> This pig, though, so I know, right? Boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked in, man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? In reality, Bigby They're and Snow could have died Colin. there. So but it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right yeah. now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has <laughs> enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? Ah, it's shit. been the rule for a reason, <clears throat> Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Oh god, what it do I do here? Everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby?
Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? I wonder. Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh, okay. That rod from the pudding and pie? Not who yes. I thought. <laughs> Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, ah, shit. you seem real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I mean, ultimately, I can't guarantee that, Colin, but we're going to have to go with that. I really love the art style. There's something about it. It's very charming. I'm going to keep saying it. It's just visually the game is very cool. I'm really intrigued to see how they've gone about making it next gen. Like, I'm hoping the animations will be a little bit less stiff for the next gen sequel. But yeah. Alright, The Wolf Among Us. Here we go. Next chapter. So, this is... Yeah, episode 4. I've forgotten what it's... Uh, what the episode name is. But yeah. In my head, I'm still trying to rack my brain about it, although I, I'm genuinely not sure. There's really not a lot I remember from the episode. Or the last couple of episodes. Sheep's clothing, okay. It's the little mermaid, there Hi. she is. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. I've been better. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Big B, please don't, okay? Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Wow, Bigby's getting called out. Uh, let's see. Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Exactly, Jess. Yeah, it's comic book art. It's it's really what I don't know. I mean, it's done really well. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just Go ahead. It might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. 
If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Okay, so we know it's something Sometimes as an enchanted thing. We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. Hmm. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Aww. So I hope you're looking after yours. Sebastian you... and Flounder are gone, you Look around you. Nerissa. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. Come on, just talk. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Yeah. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Is there an issue with just taking the ribbon off? Big B, be careful. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Okay. Alright, okay, we're not gonna do that. You can't do that! Okay. Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Okay, I didn't know. <sighs> I, di I didn't know. You just want to double check. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. That's okay. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Needs to be up front, right? You can't just flat out say no and then nothing will happen. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. Explain everything in a sec. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Oh, that's how they lost their heads like that. Okay, okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? 
<laughs> Joel, thanks the right for the 44 book. months. What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. I appreciate it though, dude. I hope you're doing we well, Joel. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. Good stuff. I'm good. Thanks, House of Wolf Among Us. It's going good. It's going good. Honestly, it's so weird. I played this. Joey, you probably remember, you actually. I played this many moons ago for YouTube, and I physically can't remember the ending for the life of me. I remember like the first episode, and like the bits of the second and third. Next two episodes, I have no memory of, so I'm, <laughs> I'm like I'm sort of revisiting it blind-ish. But it's going good. It's been nice coming back. Better than just barging in. Oh. There we go. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Hmm. I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B, who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Wow, Beast is so hurt by this. For context, we it's didn't tell. Pal, Big B. We didn't tell Hi, Big B. Beast Please about. Excuse us for just a minute. Beauty's issues Can at the I moment. Talk to you in private. Yes, let's. Okay. All right. They can have their domestic in the other room. <laughs> Joel, are you playing Planet Crafter mm. at the moment? I have no idea what that is, but yes, I, I really it's, do it's have good. the smallest apartment in the woodlands. So that you and Ali were playing it. Going to make a problem out of uh, <laughs> Ranger, welcome in. Well, I would have just kicked the door, the door open. Hell yeah. Not after the way he went behind my back, and then you run and mm. call him again. Talk about living in the past. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one Same little thing. Hell yeah. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? It's like crack. What a sales pitch! I did. We're out of money. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting your first response to be. It's like crack. Excellent. You've sold me. Oh, how how I've yearned for that thing. Cheeky bit of crack in my game. I just realized it has multiple meanings. Ignore that. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time. And you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. <laughs> Why are Bigby's you like, like God damn it. I'm just trying to do what's best I'm for warning us. you don't buy it. Okay, That's Joel, I'll take, take you up. I'll take you up. I'll I'd take like you up on that. <laughs> but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And 
I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. Right, There's okay. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I'm going to answer that. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just... Uh, a uh, day at the beach? Hey, Skiing a we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> I hate how... Humanly possible. I hate... I hate that answer machine. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Wow, I actually agree I've been with them. This long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Uh oh. Someone did a fucko boingo. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So. When I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Okay. You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly, it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Hmm. I can't imagine he has a lot of... Yeah, Mary got skills. the axe from there. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, maybe. Baby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Mm -hmm. Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. Hmm. It's up to Alright, if you want my help, then you have to quit. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. 
We shouldn't have there are to better ways. Like Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm, okay. I feel like... Ah, shit, okay. We got a decision. I'm bad at these. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I feel like the butcher the shop... The butcher shop might give us a motive for why we can the then arrest above. the Crooked Man. The thing is... I... Like... I want to know what the Crooked Man is hiding at that butcher shop. Yeah. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. But I'm thinking this way round, they'll be ready for Wait, us at the butcher shop. I don't shop. know what you're know. planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts for you what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway just keep us in mind please I'm sure you'll do the right thing hmm okay the honesty those two are kind of the worst <laughs> I don't know ultimately you know they they, they don't want to hurt people but it doesn't mean that you turn to that sort of thing yeah, stop smoking. What? I love that he always puts them out on the like shop grounds. That's so fucking disrespectful, honestly. It's like a pet peeve for me is whenever people are like outrageous in like a shop or in, even in like a restaurant, and people just have no self regard for like being polite or being like huh. empty. Aware of the fact they're making more work for the waiting staff or whatever. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Yeah, this all looks like it's been here for a while. Just sort of gaining dust for a bit. I don't know. KY, welcome in. How you doing, dude? Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? You one of the three pigs? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Ribs. Let's Oats? give him a chance tongue. to. <laughs> Got some tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. If you don't find anything else. That's not suspicious at we all. Just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. 
And what if I do find something here? Because you haven't been straight with me. Really, Sheriff? You won't. We'll see about that. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. D don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. He's gonna get it. Shit. Uh-oh. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. These, like, meat locker things actually terrify me. I don't know what it is about them. They're just always so unsettling. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Why are you trying to sneak out the back, Johan? What are you afraid of? That whole crew. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Hey, what we got here? Yeah. Ah. I'm never ready for the QTEs. <laughs> What is this place? Oh, can they make fake glamours here? Or like potions or drugs or something? Where's Jesse Pinkman? This looks humane. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. 
Gonna sort this all out. There we are, okay, glamours, yeah. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Okay. Let's have a look around. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Huh. Looks like math or something. <laughs> Me looking at anything remotely intelligent. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. All right, who's on there? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Hmm. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. I would check out based on. What is this thing? Is it an absolutely safe cap? Oh no, it's a, it's a fur. <laughs> it's like a stove. I thought it was like some earthbound shit. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. Hmm. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah. Yeah, what about Craig? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised yeah, you stole never the piece. need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They oh God, okay. They Crane there too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. 
They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take them down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Alright. All promises today, Big B. You better live up to it. A lot of promises from Big B. <laughs> no smoking, huh? Okay, you better make it look like nothing happened here, sir. Part of me's thinking we probably should have gone the other way around, but I don't know. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system. What the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just makes gonna I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You... So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... You piece of shit. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me. You do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. Should we tell him? But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you myself. And I won't need no... Oh, you... This is my fucking fight. <laughs> Why Not is it always a fight? Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Uh oh. Here comes the devil. <laughs> There's the axe. Scary. Hey, assholes. I found her. Okay. There you go, you have your axe back. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? 
Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Hmm. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Hmm. All right. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take the money. You won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> it's gonna keep some money, don't mind me. Very cool. That sick piece of... Yeah. The Snow White thing is really fucked still. The shard. There it is. It's the shard. Finally. Alright. We got what we needed, at least. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Oh, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? Yeah, why not? Thanks. Shitty brand. <laughs> I love that everyone calls him out You're for welcome. it. I'm not gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. All right, I need the woodsman was chill. There he goes. Okay. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, Sheriff I'm... Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. There it is. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. All right. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, 
This thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the Lone. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. That's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Okay. I'm sure Don't everything is far, fine. Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried oh. to use you as a doorway? Oh, right. I think I already know I the forgot about that. <laughs> well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Okay, I thought we, I thought we were missing while, more, Sheriff, Mirror. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Who would have thunk it? Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Okay. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? We got some money from Crane, though, right? We can just give him the Crane's money. <laughs> Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I fucking love well, him. You did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in fable time. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a watch. How much do you need? Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. But no, it's not right. Burdening the weakest of us like this. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, it's not entirely up to me. Oh, uh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. 
I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. Yeah. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Okay, so Crane's so just sent let's off. let's not do that again, okay? Sent off somewhere else. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Poetry isn't part of my job description. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps <laughs> I can be of assistance? Hey, go on then. <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. There we go. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Aww. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Where yeah, is that? Though? I mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. Okay. But you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. We'll try we to. We have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Oh God, here we go. That's it, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Bigby. Well, so this lost cat poster is everywhere. Alright, we're going to be relatively stealthy about it if we can. Okay, this is a bad idea. I feel like we're going to get stuck. Uh oh. Well, there goes the door.
Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Oh, fine. Lead on. I feel but him seems like a, a very nice man. The way, Mr. Tim. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Aww. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. That Liam Gallagher in there? I ain't scared of you. Go ahead. You got a book. job to I do. Got a problem. Liam Gallagher, are you in here? Sheriff Animal. Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Oh God, okay, everyone here is involved. I didn't think she was also teacher? involved. We have a great deal to discuss. Sunshine. Like that, isn't it? Oh shit, we're already done with the episode, okay. I thought we had a bit longer to go, but okay. I heard stories about you. One episode left. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> oh shit, okay. Well, we have the finale coming up. Uh, did you send Colin to the farm? I think we went with the majority? Oh no, okay. Lit a cigarette. Okay, most people didn't. We were in the only just, but we were on the other side of the spectrum with that. 
Everybody, I think we went, oh wow, okay, most people went to the butcher first as well, interesting. Okay, but well, we went with the majority for most, interesting, okay. That's always so loud. I don't know why that's always so loud at the end. Okay, well that was the wolf among us. Interesting. I forgot how short that was. Sorry for the, the loud sounds. I hope that didn't any damage. Um, are you more uh, blur than Oasis? Oh, almost uh, blurrer. Like, I I realized I gushed too much about blur and everything Damon Albarn affiliated. So I tried I try and like hide it a bit. <laughs> I talk too much about it otherwise. But um, yeah. No, I love. I love Blur and Gorillas and everything that man does, so it's uh I'm definitely more Blur, but I respect like uh the Oasis. Honestly everything after the Wonderwall album I think is a bit shit. Controversial take maybe, but I think the first two albums Oasis put out are really good. Um And then I, I guess like respectively I think Noel Gallagher's like new band are quite good, so I like no Gallagher's high flying birds, I think they're pretty solid. Um But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I think it, the issue mainly stems from Liam. I'm not a big Liam Gallagher person. I think Noel's alright though. Noel I think I like Noel's music a bit more. I love the uh I love Gorillas uh, when they're in Life is Strange 2. I've not played Life is Strange 2 yet, it's on the wheel. Um, but I know that Melancholy Hill is features in it. Um, I think a few people were telling me at the time. Anyway, that's The Wolf Among Us though. Um, good stuff. We're ending a bit early today, so part of me's thinking, if we have a cheeky five minute break, and wrap up here, you know what, I'll wrap up with The Wolf Among Us, so, uh, I'll, I'll say goodbye now for The Wolf Among Us for the sake of the VOD. And then I'll clip it so that this is the end. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you uh, Ranger, thank you KY, thank you Joel, thank you Jess. Um, thank you anybody else that's popped by and lurked for The Wolf Among Us, I appreciate you. And yeah, we'll be back on Saturday for the finale, so I'll see you then. In a bit.